Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna go through all the features and additions of the new Engine DJ 4.0 update. Now, first thing you're gonna notice with the 4.0 update is a major redesign of the interface of Engine DJ. So it's uh, redesigned with uh, the experience in mind for DJs, but also uh, to improve workflow. So right now we're looking at uh, kind of the library view with the playlist tree here. And as soon as I go to the actual um, playlist section, uh, the song list, you'll see that it expands out and we have a wider view of our playlist uh, track selection. So the track list is wider and I can see the entire waveform uh, for each track. And I can also see cue points and loops on those tracks. And so at any time, if I want to uh, X3 collapse this so that I can see the, the playlist tree, I can do that. Or I can tap this icon to make it a, a wider view. I um, mean, you'll notice too, the, the icons uh, have a redesigned look on the top and sidebars. In addition, you'll see that the, the contrast is, uh, is stronger. So it's a black background instead of a very dark gray background uh, behind the track names and things like that. So next, if I were to load a track, you'll see that this interface is different. Um, so you uh, can select your track there. Let's load up a few more just to fill this out. And then we'll get into some of the other changes with the actual look that you can see here. Okay, so one of the other big updates is the ability to customize three different views to recall uh, at any point. So right now we're in this view that has one of the other new additions in 4.0, the addition of the performance playlist view. So this is the option, optional performance playlist view, and that puts your playlist on your actual screen whenever you want for any view. And before that was only allowed in certain views. Now you can customize it any way you like. So let's get into where you can actually customize your view. And so it's in the layout tab and you can see here up top, we have view one, view two, and view three. So of these three views, I can just go in and any one of these items and they're different on say a Prime 4 Plus versus a SC6000, you'll have different options. But on this, since we have a four deck player, I can select two or four decks. I can select two or four waveforms. I can select horizontal or vertical waveforms. I can have the performance pads showing or not showing if you wanna know what those are. Uh, the performance pads are the cue point names, loop divisions, and things like that at the bottom. And if I were to turn those off, they would disappear. Uh, the performance library, that's what I was referring to, uh, the library on the screen. And I took it away. If I wanna add it back, I can do that. And it's worth noting, everything I'm doing just affects this particular view, view one. So if I want to um, have kind of this one be horizontal, four waveforms, only two decks, um, and I want view two to be two decks, two waveforms, vertical, and I want view three to be, let's go four decks, four waveforms, but I, I only want the performance pads. I don't want the performance library. So then we've set all our views. So there's view three. And then to shift between views, you hold the shift button and you tap the view button. So that's view three. Now this one will cycle to view one. So that's view one that we set. This one will cycle to view two. That's view two that we set. In these views, you can also see some of the other major cosmetic updates. For example, the album artwork is next to the track names. Um, there is a new uh, key, sync, key sync control experience here, so you can, you, you can use this to go up or down, turn sync on or off um, here. And then uh, another option is you can uh, tap one deck's BPM to set the lead deck for sync. So I just tapped this one that was 117.7. Uh, let's see here, if I were to play this, and then I wanted to sync track two, or deck two, uh, it would sync to that because I set that as the lead. Another new addition in Engine DJ 4.0 is the ability to switch the phase meter. So right now the, the phase meter is what the option that is selected. You can switch that inside of your settings menu, I'm sorry, inside of your profile menu for display. You can change that sync indicator to the phase keeper or the beat keeper. So if I switch back, you'll see that it's the one, two, three, four beat keeper versus the phase keeper. 
And so that's an option you can switch an Engine DJ 4.0. That also applies to the standalone units like the Prime 4 Plus, but also you have the option in the media players like the SC6000 and SC5000 uh, players. Also in Engine DJ 4.0, you have the ability to adjust the position of this playhead marker. So that's the vertical white line, which indicates when a waveform hits that line, that's the sound you're hearing at that point in time. So if you'd prefer to have more of a look ahead in your track than behind on the playhead marker, it's easy to do. You just go into your settings and then your device tab and your playhead position is here. So if I were to go all the way to the right, you'll see the playhead is in the middle. If I were to adjust this all the way to the left, that's gonna give us more of a look ahead that I was mentioning so I can see more of the upcoming waveform. Uh, to the right of the playhead marker. So you have the ability to adjust that in the 4.0 update. Also in that same menu, you have the ability to enable train spotting mode. And so that basically hides your title and artist of your tracks. So if you're playing some unreleased stuff that you wanna keep unreleased and unknown, just toggle that option. And then whatever your playhead is uh, playing, the track and title and artist is hidden. So you're in incognito. And if you wanted to go fully incognito mode there, Obviously, you probably want to take off your uh, performance library so that nobody can see anything if you're really that secretive. Also in Engine DJ 4.0, you'll notice that we've improved the search functionality. So if I were to search, now I can easily toggle between searching through my current playlist with the uh, new and improved search bar, or I can search the entire library just by toggling to all. So I can toggle back and forth. And then all of my other controls are conveniently located in the search bar, like match and things like that. So that is an improvement in that functionality. And again, when I select a track on the playlist, it auto expands to reveal more of the waveform and then I can collapse or expand with the icon here. There are also a couple of improvements in terms of touch effects. Now on the filter dub echo, there is an additional slider called echo amount on the bottom that you can adjust. And the same goes for the filter echo, wherever it is, right there. So you have an additional echo amount slider here that was not there before. So that's a nice addition too. Okay, you'll notice uh, we have played tracks in our playlist, you now have the ability to reset the play status by going to your profile and going to display. And then you can just quickly reset all the played tracks status. So then we're back to all unplayed. Also with Engine DJ 4.0, the media players, which are the Denon DJ SC5000, SC5000M, SC6000, SC6000M, on those players, you can access additional views. So you have a one deck view, a two deck group view, and a two deck stacked view. And you can even swap the waveform position. So this is really handy if you have one SC6000 and an LC6000 that you're using as physical control of that dual layer. And so you can adjust your setup however you'd like so that you can have the, the waveform align with the position of the LC6000. And also, the update of allowing the performance library to be seen at all times is extremely handy for somebody that is using the LC6000 because then you can just use that library browse knob to browse the tracks on the screen of the SC6000 and load them with the knob directly on the LC6000 versus having to do everything on the SC6000 in terms of library navigation. So that's another really nice addition that improves the usability of the SC6000 and an LC6000 combo immensely. So that pretty much sums up all the primary new features added in Engine DJ 4.0. If you'd like to learn more, go to enginedj.com and download the full release notes. And if you have questions or comments, just leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching.